ya. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah, that's right. Welcome back to the gentleman's den. Jeff and Sean in here tonight. No Frankie, because uh what? He's sick. the man who never leaves the house <laughs> left the house. That's sick. <laughs> Uh, How is this even possible, Francis? Like I, I asked him earlier. I go, man, is your immune system just that bad, dude? <laughs> like the two times you've come out of the house, you've gotten sick. Yeah, his immune system is so it's, fucking bad. It is the worst. Be trash. And he's just he's just downing vitamin fucking orange juice. Orange juice. Miracle elixir. <laughs> I don't know how he manages it, bro. I, I I'm like, dude, you bought all those vitamins, bro. Why didn't you hammer those? You know, double them up. If they're not working, you gotta double them up. He goes. Well, oh. how do you even get sick? You're wearing a mask everywhere. He barely goes outside. He's been outside maybe six times, and <laughs> <laughs> I know. Not they that said, many. I'm over exaggerating for sure. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. he, he could walk around the block and be fine. Oh yeah. Oh, of course, my daughter's a little savage. Go to bed, Tawada. Love you. Okay, get your stuffed animals. Go in there. Shut the door, honey. <laughs> Love you. Jesus. Uh. What are we talking about, Frankie? Always sick. <laughs> Frankie and his poor Jeez. immune system. All right, so for the uh, YouTube watchers, I am going to put a picture of this up right about oh, now. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Uh-huh, see, Frankie it didn't work. Of Frankie's mouth. It didn't work, and we still see you. <laughs> Thank God. We still see oh. you. No, no, no. I'm not doing it physically. When I edit the YouTube video. Oh, <laughs> you son of a there, bitch. Sean. Oh, Jesus Christ. This has gone off the rails already. Oh, yeah. What did you take before this? What did you call it? I, I took the energy rip. <laughs> <laughs> I need the energy rip, buddy. I had that energy rip. And by energy. Yeah, so hopefully, Frankie, he'll be back next week, right? That's what he says. We might have What's to. What's an energy uh, rip? Might just have to have him hold cue cards up. <laughs> like the little board because he can't talk. <laughs> Be a visual. That's what he should have did. He should have just sat there with his sunglasses on and just it nodded. up and down or side to side. <laughs> or just next time we'll just do a picture of him in the corner. I mean, I could put one in. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't put that picture up that he sent us. <laughs> no, I am. Oh, I have to. I have to fulfill my promise now. Oh, well. Congratulations. Well, if you, you, had, if you don't get to see the picture, I don't know why you wouldn't go to YouTube and check it out. But Frankie has a, what the hell is it? Cold sore? A canker sore. Canker sore. <laughs> but normally you get them in your lip or something. Nah, he's got it on the, like, dingleberry in the back of his throat. Directly on. I've never seen it directly on <laughs> it's rough. I think he just drinks too many cokes, man. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the fucking culprit. It has to be. Your body wasn't meant to take in that fucking that Coke Brothers shit. Unless he uh, went back to the fucking twelve gallons of orange juice, because that shit'll burn your <laughs> fucking throat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 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 wish you were here, Frankie. Miss you, yeah. miss you, buddy. I hope you had a good Christmas and a good a New Year's, as uh, I do to all of you, Sean and listeners. Yeah, yeah. Happy New Year, folks. Hopefully, this year will be better than the last. I know it sounds like a Counting Crow song because it is. But... <laughs> Yeah, but you did it better. Yeah, because it's been a long December. 
Yeah, it's been. It's <laughs> there been is a reason year. to believe. <laughs> Maybe this year will be two? better than the last. Is that two Con and Crows <laughs> references in five minutes? <laughs> that, that was the song. <laughs> hey, oh, my God. That's how you know you're getting old when you start remembering Counting Crows songs. <laughs> Counting Crows. <laughs> You remember, kids? I saw County Crows at the State Fair. <laughs> I saw Man, uh, County 20, Crows. 25. County Crows opened up for REO Speedwagon at the State Fair. <laughs> uh, can you imagine, like, that band? They're all just sitting around thinking of names, and they got one dumbass in the band who just loves staring out the window. <laughs> They're like, hey, Johnson, what are you doing? And he's like, counting crows. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is like, perfect. That's the name. <laughs> that was like after like the fifth bong rip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally the name of this band. Counting crows, bro. You're a genius. <laughs> I'm sure it's the name of a book or something or I don't know. What do you think it is? I don't care. I think it's exactly how I described it, and I'm going to go to my grave saying <laughs> and imagining that that's the way it happened. That's some someone named Johnson in the band it was County Crows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, fuck! What's other weird names? You know, you're just like what? Like Dave Matthews Band, I don't get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> That's, I don't get it at all. Yeah, it's so Matthews his middle name. No, Matthews is his last name. <laughs> That's his middle name. His last name's Band. <laughs> well, that would be <laughs> Zach Brown Band. Is <laughs> what if your last name was Band? Would that is that what you would name it? You'd have a Sean Band. (laughs) Hopefully my first name would be like String. (laughs) Got a String Band. (laughs) Or Rubber. Rubber Band. (laughs) Why has no one fucking thought of that one yet? I don't know, man. People are weird. Rubber Band. (laughs) You guys want to go down to this, to downtown and see the Rubber. Rubber band. <laughs> Let's go see rubber band. Rubber band. Not fun next to the pop. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> rubber bands. Rubber band. Who's oh, gonna watch man. a rubber band? You are. It's the rubber band. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. Obscure band names. Oh, I mean, we could go into obscure band names. I mean, there is, you know, Dying Fetus and... Oh, let's not go there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're only like two days into this year, Sean. <laughs> no, it's let's go. Go big or go home in 2021, baby. That might be the name of your band, 2021. You got to spell it out. I don't think it's as offensive if it's spelled out. Like when I see a two and an O and a two and an O all aggressive in my face, just want to punch it. (laughs) It's written out nicely. But if it's T-W-O. Yeah, if it's (laughs) I can I can fuck with that. I never want to see 2020 again. No, I'm good with it being gone. I gotta get out. Get out more. Everybody's gotta get out more. Oh no, you dog. Your dog wants out. <laughs> Dog's barking. Let me out, fucker. Dude. He wants to go out more in 2020. I just let him out. Oh, oh no. my god. Playtime now. Dude, every fucking. We we'll just bro. pretend. Hey, it's Christmas. Why don't you go ahead and uh, donate, everybody? You hear those dogs barking in the background? You know, adopt, don't shop. Go pick yourself up a nice poocher down in Sean and Jeff's <laughs> Poocher Emporium. 
Boot you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we got shit zoos. We got cocker spaniels. We Hell got bullshit. Yeah. We got everything. What kind of mixed dog you want to have? You all from seeing <laughs> Chihuahua and a Great Dane? We haven't either. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I think the Great Dane would have to be taken at the... Poor <laughs> 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 no. Chihuahua. No, no, would no. You we're using hold, the Great would you have to hold the uh, Chihuahua up? That might be artificial insemination on that one, buddy. <laughs> I don't think they do that with dogs. I think it's all fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Dude, I don't know. I don't understand, like, the breeds getting put together. Like. That's because women with fucking pink purses need something fancy well, that's, to walk around like, I understand, like, a Pomsky, because it's a miniature husky. I understand that dog. Yeah. What is it about puppies? Everyone loves small, cute puppies. Mm-hmm. But then a lot of people don't like little dogs. <laughs> and I'm like, little dogs are just puppies forever. Yeah, I know. Like, everyone loves, like, a fucking, pit you know, pit bull, pit bull or Bernard's. a bull, you know, bulldog. It's, I mean, name a dog, even a husky one, it's a puppy. They're like, oh, I wish it stayed like this forever. Yeah. They, and the little dog's barking, and they're like, oh, fuck. Get shut out. the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, little dog. <laughs> you should have grown. Why are you not bigger? <laughs> I don't like little dogs. Moral of the story. I just contradicted myself with the story about being nice to little dogs. Treat them like puppies. Yeah, but... Little dogs are assholes. My my dog might be an asshole, but he's cool as fuck. Everybody likes him. Cool? Everybody loves Stu. Everyone loves Stu. He's a great dog. It's like a little... He's like a little puppy. Because he is. Little dogs... He's alright. He can get a little mouthy though. Yeah, he gets, a little, gets a little mouthy. We gotta point out that your uh, Beats by Dre have finally died. Yeah. So uh, you wanna do a quick review? How was your experience dude, with fuck, the Beats dude. by Dre? I had those for what, ten years now or something? I wouldn't say that long. Yeah, maybe. Now you've had them for a while. Maybe they might be ten year old beats by Drake. You might have got first edition. Dude, they they are. They're that they're that first run, for sure. Well, they broke too, like not too long after you had them. Yeah, they cracked. I bent them too far the wrong way. You know what you should do though? Yeah, but after you cracked them they went on for like eight more years. But yeah. You should do an experiment now that they're broke. I wanna yeah. I want to see if the rumors are true that they used to put weights in them so that they would feel more expensive. Oh, you want me to pop them open to check? Yeah. I mean, we I can do put, that live on the gentleman's I, day on YouTube. Well, I mean, they don't need to put weights in them to make them feel heavier when you got two fucking AAA batteries on the side of your head, too. Right, but that's that's what I heard about Beats. Like, everyone's like, because when it boils down to I mean, it's just because they're Beats by Dre. You know, everyone's got a boner for them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was the big rumor that they're, like, super light and cheap feeling, so they, like, put weights in them to make them feel heavier and more expensive. Because you paid how much for those? Oh, uh, fuck. What, 200 bucks or something? Yeah, at least. I think they're 199 bucks. yeah. Triple A batteries, because now they probably charge, right? Like, yeah, the wall, plug them. In. Yeah. yeah, you were actually having to put batteries in those. Yeah, that's like first edition. They lasted. They sound good when they fucking when you have them on for something. They sound awesome. So they, I'm not a big like uh, sick headphone 
music listening. Yeah, no, I mean, when we were DJing, they worked perfect because they fucking noise cancel, basically. And Yeah. I mean, it's not like you're going to... Oh, they were nice. It's not like you're going to use earbuds when you're DJing. I mean, I've done it before. Yeah, I mean, like, for most of my daily activities, <clears throat> when I'm driving in the truck or whatever, or, you know, going for a walk or whatever, I don't wear, like, the big dog, so I don't know. I don't really notice... I couldn't really give you a a reading. Yes, but these are better than those. Those are better than these. I have no idea. I wear earbuds at work all day long. The buds, the little. Yeah, I no. I the ones I have, they're Bluetooth, but it's like it's got the neck band. They last. The battery lasts like thirteen uh, hours. Fucking good to go, player. Yeah, the other ones I looked into the just the the buds, the like AirPods, and they last three hours. I mean, that ain't getting me through my day. I gotta no. keep charging them every fucking three hours. Yeah, that's what always sucks about those. I hated when iPhones changed the thing where you couldn't charge your phone and listen to your headphones at the same goddamn time. Yeah, those things fucking break so easy too. Adapters. <clears throat> yeah, and then you lose them. I like Apple, but ugh. everything's what? like by the. It's like going to a card, you know, and they're like fourth wheel. I don't, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's it's... ever complete. Oh, you get the phone on oh, no, this, but you need this. Well, does it come with it? No. <laughs> Everything is a uh, added expense with Apple. Yeah, and but the problem is, is I use, I mean, you use a MacBook, but I use iTunes and all that shit to listen to. Right. Once they get you on that tit. Yeah, I'm stuck in that titty. Hard to stop sucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in that titty. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm in that apple teat. I don't get all crazy, though. I don't have to get the new one. I always skip, you know, a couple. Yeah, I, I had the six fucking forever. I just got the ten recently. Yeah, you and, and I, I probably won't wait till like the fucking fourteen comes out. Then I'll switch. Yeah, you and I are the ones that have in the phone until they're fucking got charged every ten fucking minutes. The battery shot. Yeah, especially when I was doing uh, like construction stuff, and I had my phone out when it was cold out. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. it'd be nah. dead five minutes. Over, son. Knock it off. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta tell you what, Sean. Do you have a good Christmas, though? And a birthday. Happy birthday to Sean. He is a Christmas baby. Yeah, it was, I mean, for the most part, it was very good. Time out for a second. Oh, Jesus. What do you do? Sean's gonna beat his dog, and then he's gonna beat him some more. Beat the dog, beat the dog. <laughs> I don't know if he paused this or not. Sean is away beating his dog, and uh, uh, I'm just kind of hanging out watching. Oh, he's back. Look at him go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? I was Christmas was good, man. I mean, it is not every holiday is going to be a great one. You know, it was just rough this year. Didn't get to go see my grandma and do my normal shit that I normally do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we just had a small Christmas. Um my sisters and obviously their families and then my uncle Ron came up from Chicago and that was about it everyone else stayed at home and which whatever I understand but it was tough because you miss everybody and you want to see them yeah that was you know that was the rough part on Christmas that you know that then I have a cousin tell me one of our my cousins died so rest in peace to my cousin Michael. Haven't Sorry seen, to hear. Yeah, I haven't seen him in 35 years. 
but let's, oh. let's bring that up on my birthday. Thank you for that. That that was yeah. Uh, that one really brightened my fucking day. Sounds like it. Oh Jesus, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. fucking the whole year sucked. Yeah, it was a uh, not a banger of a year. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, and then the deaths. Jesus Christ, man. Stop breaking my heart with all these fucking deaths. Just Yeah, who do you have? Uh, Gilligan's Island check? Yeah, Mary, yeah. Mary <clears throat> Wells. For, Jesus. for the wrestling community, Brody Lee, who that dude, the, the stuff other wrestlers put up about that dude, of how good of a person, how good of a family man he was. It was heartbreaking, and that guy died of a rare lung disease, non-COVID. Mm. So yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I'm trying not to bring this goddamn podcast down, but you know, just just be happy for what you got, <laughs> folks. Hug your loved ones. I'm like Jesus Christ, bro. We're taking a dark turn. It's getting dark, <laughs> it's, baby. It happens, though. It's not like uh, you know. There's no way around it. It happens. Yeah, it's just, it's, you know, you start realizing your own mortality when you got people that you watched as a kid dying now. Yeah. You know, yeah, like when, it's pretty wild. Like, as soon as the Rolling Stones start dying off, it's going to, you know, right there, it's going to be like, oh, shit, the, the pages, <laughs> the, the page on that, that chapter is finally closing. Yeah. Well, luckily I didn't get any depressive phone calls. Thank God. Just had a nice, good family time. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, New Year's, I actually had to work. So. Now, did it suck growing up with your birthday and Christmas? No. Or no? No. Did it bother you? Did you notice it? No, I always not- wondered that. Because my mom is pretty close. She's December 30th. Yeah. So she always hated it. Even being that close and yours is on it. Yeah. I. Uh, the only thing I hate is I couldn't have like a birthday party on my birthday. Because it's not like you're going to yeah. have all your friends come over on Christmas. Right. But I got to spend Christmas with some of the coolest people ever. You know, I got to spend Christmas with my grandfather's crazy ass friends from the south side of Chicago <laughs> and you know my uncle my great uncle that's in the college football hall of fame I got to hang out with him till you know 85 I didn't get much time with him but I did I do remember some of it like the people that he knew blew my mind like no one that listens to our podcast besides like you or me will remember like these people, like Shelly Winters was like a act, like a Disney actress. She was not even me. Yeah. <laughs> not even me. I mean, if I showed you a picture of her, yeah, you know for who sure. she was, but yeah, like he knew all You're those. cutting our listeners too short. How dare you, Sean? No confidence, <sighs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. No confidence. How dare you? Dude, I've insult these intelligent people. <laughs> I got so many I got so many weird references that I can't use anymore because people are like, What the fuck does that mean? I'm like uh, Oh I yeah. I'm fucking old. <laughs> no TikTok for Sean. No, dude, never. I'm Why not? It. I'm what if it. we got a bunch of people to vote? If you got like over a certain amount, would you Start a TikTok. <laughs> Dude, I don't have time to do a TikTok, bro. You got plenty of time. You can you take your 15-minute shit every day. You can do it right in the bathroom. <laughs> Just fuck it. <laughs> I'm not a dancer. There ain't no TikTok dances happening out of this fat fucking body. What are you talking about? Did you see the Jack Black wet-ass pussy oh. dance? 
<laughs> Someone sprayed him down with a hose. That dude. <laughs> that dude. He's in a fucking red speedo. I think it's red. Red or blue. I don't know. America. He is a very oh, agile fuck. man. He is. For a big dude, that dude is fucking Freakishly agile. agile. With the fucking cartwheels and shit. I never understood how... Chris Farley, too, yeah. man. Chris like, Farley with the cartwheels. John Belushi. I never understood how either of those guys could do cartwheels. John Belushi could do a back handspring. What's crazy is, now that I think about it, when a fat guy does a cartwheel properly, it just looks that much more amazing. Yeah. Because it's like... Whoop. It's yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Or like when you see like the tumblers. You know, like the Jesse White tumbler, tumbling team. They always yeah. got one kid on there that's like, how is this, you know, pudgy kid? I mean, he must be a base. He must be like they jump on him. This dude's doing fucking triple backflips in the air and shit. Yeah. No, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> Just freak, athletic freaks. Oh, you want to talk about athletic freaks. If you get a chance, anyone listening, including yourself, Sean, are you listening? I'm listening. <laughs> A uh, documentary on Netflix called We Are the Champions. Okay. And it's like super athletes in the most obscure championships. Oh. So, like, they had, uh, God, I can't, the guys won it like 12 times or something. The cheese rolling thing. Oh, the one <laughs> Where they down roll the, the hill? cheese down the hill. The and, wheel of cheese. Yeah, and they just get murdered on the way down the hill. Yes. So this girl, she's like, she's the only one to like win it twice. And she's like going for her third time. But like the second time she completely dislocated her shoulder and her collarbone sticking out. Oh, (laughs) and she's like, I don't know. She's just super like kind of worried to do it again. But dude, dude, fearless. That hill isn't like just like a straight down hill either. There no, is it is divots it is. and potholes in there. Yes, like people just be running down and just bop. Like the one dude was super serious. Like he trained there, and he trained himself. Like when you fall to flip and pop right back on his feet and yeah. fucking go. It's insane. Dude, yeah. But it was great to see, man. The show. It was like that, and then I think they had yo-yos. The, these fucking champion yo-yo guys. And then they had dog dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, you have like a floor routine w- between the person and the dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm out on that one. Then they had frog jumping. Where they like jump behind the frog and they scream. And then the frog has to get three jumps. <laughs> Dude, it was great. I loved it. Oh, we are the champions. Watch it. Speaking of champions, how about Homeboy with the twisted T? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I haven't, I haven't watched the full video. All I saw was like when he dropped it and he went to go pick it up, and the guy, and the guy went to kick it and like missed, and he picked it up, and then he ended up hitting him with it. But I didn't. Uh, the white guy I was. I don't dro- know what it led to. The white guy what was dropping the n bomb, like repeatedly. Oh, smart! <laughs> yeah. And the guy asked him nicely, like three times, "Hey, can you please not call me that?" And then the white guy is, "I'm, I grew up here. Blah blah blah. I can use that." Blah, blah. And then he's like, "The dude, you see the dude just grab the can and kind of hang it down by his waist." He's like, oh, yeah. you going to smack me with it? Like, smack me. And then he, dro- that's oh, when he so drops. He for it. That's when he drops it. Literally. That's when he drops it and the guy goes to kick it. And then he fucking smashes him upside the head with it. Then the guy kind of stumbled around. They wrestled. He threw him to the ground. He hit him like three more times. And then the white guy just gets up. He's going, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, I just got my ass whipped in the yeah. middle of a 7-Eleven. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you know those baby deer legs? Oh, yeah, he was. 
he was he was trying to find that balance point. <laughs> but then, of course, the guy comes. Okay. Then the guy comes out. He goes, "Oh, if we squared up face to face, I'd beat his ass." But I'm like, "Dude, oh. dude." <laughs> What do you think? I, I mean, our twisted T is They're it just sales. selling? Like they gotta oh, have skyrocketing, skyrocketing numbers. Just so a person I can't can, go anywhere on the internet without seeing a fucking twisted T. Just so, it just where it's gonna be is the fucking everybody like oh gotta stay strapped and they always have the fucking twenty four ounce cans. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I seen the one at the gun store where they had one in the glass <laughs> case. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's real fucking good. That's a good one. That's and, why the internet's undefeated. So, you know how Dogface got the fucking deal from uh, uh, Ocean Spray? Cranberry? Yeah. yeah. Is this, this guy, guy. going to get a deal from Twisted T? <laughs> like, he has to. He fucking has to. <laughs> Dude, capitalize on this Twisted T. We're giving you gold here. Gold. Gold. What's your favorite one? He could just go around and smack people in the head like that don't pay their child support on time. <laughs> <laughs> just go around and beat like uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Just get the list. <laughs> get the list and just beat up <laughs> dead beats. Did you say this iced tea tastes like asshole <laughs> on this website? Yeah. <laughs> fucking smack his ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Star Boy sixty <laughs> nine? Uh, the twisted Did you write chat this site? tea could suck my dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bust him over the head with it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> twisted tea, we're giving you gold here, baby. What's your favorite one? You think the memes? I dude, the music ones. Would they? Like the Dave Matthews oh. one <laughs> the made Dave me Matthews laugh. Band. The Dave Matthews band one made me laugh because it's like the music that's anti violent <laughs> being used yeah. for a very violent act. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a like happy up, you know? Yeah. It's a <laughs> yeah. it's an upbeat song. I like the the what was it the thirty pack one and that you yeah. sent. Extended yeah. mag. <laughs> I got the extended <laughs> clip. Oh shit! Uh, I like the gun. The gun case one was pretty funny. <laughs> the extended clip one made me laugh too. So you think they're pumped about it though, right? Ice tea. They. I mean, they should be. It's free advertising. Yeah. And it could, you could be like, see, twisted tea. Not for racist rednecks. There's your fucking selling point. Yeah. Because a racist dude's getting hit in the face with a can of your product by a black man. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. That ain't race just relations. Admit, I mean, it could have been anything, you know? It could have been like a Mountain Dew. Everyone would have just been going crazy yeah. about could, Mountain if, Dew everywhere. You know, if it was a tall boy of Bud Light or a tall boy of just regular beer. Right. It just it's happened. like, you know, something something clicks, and then you're just the lucky one. You know, it could have been anything. Just happened to be a twisted T. The universe called. Longed for it, Sean. Hey, thank you, by the way, on New Year's for doing that shotgun. I, I'm pretty proud of you boys. You like, oh, I didn't something. do it. I know you didn't. That's why I'm <laughs> thanking you. Say thank you, yeah. I was like, nah, I'm out. I just played fucking two rounds of connection and two rounds of asshole. Oh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, you were. I could tell you were uh, feeling very uh, feeling no pain at that point when I called. Yeah, no. Well, the problem is I'm playing drinking games with vodka. <laughs> yeah, doesn't help. Drinking games, card games are meant for beers. Yes. Not for mixed drinks. That was my first mistake. Especially the way you make your drinks. Yeah. So let's just say I was pretty lit, pretty early. Yeah, because it was... What time was it? It was like fucking it was nine. Like 
Oh, shit. Sh- when yeah. I called. What time did you call? Like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were fucking smoked. <laughs> smoked. Oh, man. It was a fun time. We missed you. We missed you and Frankie. Neither one of you came. We all missed you guys. Yeah. I mean, I had to work and then I was just over it. I'm like, nah, yeah. dude, I'm staying home. No, it was just, uh, just us and. <laughs> Mike, Jessica, Nick, Jade, thank you guys for an amazing time. It was just us. The yeah. kids were over there too, so. But we spent the night, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be getting all crazy now. Yeah, they had a they had a party. They fucked up. They had a massive Tried my kids party. Around. They had a massive party. They were saying fuck COVID and shit. Sometimes you gotta. They're outside yelling, it's a hoax. It's, it's a hoax. A hoax. <laughs> That's what it said on my beer bong. <laughs> Called the hoax. <laughs> and then we passed the beer bong around, put our lips on it. Spit it to each other's mouth at midnight just to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was fun. Good spread. Thanks, Nick. You had Italian beef and the crock pots. Oh, shit. Our snacks galore, bro. No, oh, he does it. Yeah. So it, it hey, it's always a good time, especially when you uh drink a whole bottle of whiskey in two and a half hours <laughs> and start blacking out. Yeah. That was the Jolly was that the Jolly Rancher year? That was the Jolly Rancher year, but it was the whiskey that got me. It wasn't the Jolly Rancher. It was a bottle Holy of whiskey sure. I drank. <laughs> I don't know, bro. You were traveling through time and space. I was fucked up. <laughs> Oh, man. I was, it was one of those ones where if I opened my eyes, nothing would focus. But if I yeah. kept them closed, I was still in the, I heard everything. I was in the moment. I just could not open my eyes because it was like, fuck <laughs> you. It was like I'm leaving them Either closed. you were scared of what you were going to see. Like, no. <laughs> no, I couldn't focus. It, every, it looked like I was underwater. Like, I could not focus my eyes. It was brutal. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just remembering now. You were fucking toasted, bro. I was just, I kept thinking there was, I kept thinking there was fucking cabinets behind me that were going to catch me if I leaned back. Yeah. There was no cabinets. Dude. I just slammed into the fucking wall. <laughs> I felt bad, but I was fucked. No, up. you were beautiful. You were great. I wasn't like an asshole drunk, though, so I was all right with that. Yeah, no, you were just chill. You know when you, like, fucked up and you got, like, those fucked up eyes, and then yeah. you're like, hey, bro, you fucked up, and you, like, their eyes, <laughs> like, perk up, like, and they're trying to, like, wake up, and they're like, no, I'm not. Fine. <laughs> I, I'm good. Everything's great. Everything's fine. What do you mean? Then yeah. you fucking slide right back into it. Yeah, then you tuck your chin again. Cross mm. your arms and tuck your chin. You know it's over. <laughs> when you see this move, it's over. Uh, the game has, you have lost the game. The game is over. It's the equivalent of having you know one life bar left. Yeah, you were like Nate Robinson in the boxing ring. Yeah. You were like, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, and then <laughs> face down, ass up. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking Nate. We've all been there. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, trying to stay far the fuck away from that now. I just What, positivity? I, no. Getting that, <laughs> getting that fucked up. Yeah, it's not fun anymore. No, because you. Well, feel- there's a there's a, there's a there's a line here, and when I was younger, if I crossed it, I'd be fine. Yeah, but now at this age, when I cross that line, it's no irony. I have to make a deal with myself 
that you are sacrificing your tomorrow. Oh. Because you, be, you are going to feel like a fucking bag of shit. You're going to feel like a bag of smashed assholes. For sure. So my body's just laughing like, okay, bro, have a good time. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up, yeah. up tomorrow. <laughs> Wait till it hurts to pee in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't stand up because your eyes feel like they're going to blow out of your skull because the fucking hangover is so strong. So then you get to piss yourself. Possibly shit yourself, too, depending on what you That's drink. The problems. And I'm just like, nobody take care of me. <laughs> oh, My man. lady got fucked up. Oh, did she? Yeah, when we uh, when we called you, we did the trivia last Saturday. Yeah. I think it was Saturday. Oh, yeah. Oh, she got Oh, that. yeah. Oh, she puked like three times in the morning. Oh, I made her toast with butter, just to clarify. Okay. So you're her toast that? gets butter automatically. <laughs> Didn't, we're taking the L on that again? No. So, yeah. She was a bag of shit. Hey, it Sometimes happens. you gotta, though. Dude, there's times in life where you need to be a bag of shit. Yeah. You know, you, you, it's one of those ones where it's, yeah... Life's piling up. I'm just going to make it fucking worse for one night and get this fucking shit out of me. We should when this is all over. Just a full-on rager. Dude. Oh. I'm talking one of those fucking... Empty gut and rumble mitts. coolers. <laughs> a fucking wop cooler. And, uh, yeah, beer bonks. Empty. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we should hit up Dave for a good old-fashioned garage party. Garage party? Dude. That's what we need. No one got sick when we were having garage parties. Oh, come on now. Well, from <laughs> alcohol. Yeah. Not from the COVID. Not from the COVID. If you were drinking out of those punch bowls, you weren't getting sick for shit. Bro, <laughs> I wasn't lying when I said... We would go and get the cheapest gut rot vodka we can get. We would get those plastic jugs of Kool-Aid mix and hose water. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Water out of the fucking hose. <laughs> Throw it all in this big Not ass cooler we had. Sink. I know. I love it. it just, hose water, bro. We'd fill it up. We'd stir it. And you'd taste it. <laughs> and when it either... One didn't burn, or two, you still had Kool-Aid flavor. That's when you knew when to stop. Because we would, <laughs> we would literally, it was Gilby's Vodka. We didn't want, see, we thought about, we're like, dude, we can't do Everclear, because that'll just kill everybody. And Bacardi 151's too expensive. Here's this hundred proof nine dollar a bottle gut rot vodka. Oh, for sure. It's old. Forty bucks. <laughs> then you'd sell it for five bucks a cup. And you make all your money back again. Do it all Perfect. again next weekend. God, you guys. You guys are just entrepreneurs right from the jump. I miss good old fashioned. I mean, don't get me wrong, like a couple of us get together. And we get pretty uh, pretty toasty. But I miss those days of like 15, 20 people just fucked up. Just no one knows who they're talking to. Yeah, cross-eyed in, a, cross -eyed in a cornfield. <laughs> yeah, I miss those days. I'm not going to lie. I do too. Fuck the hangovers. Oh. What was that? You broke up a little bit. Oh, I said I'd take all the hangovers just for one more night of that to be fucking. Oh, that that yeah. That'd be the hangover. Can of you hangovers. imagine if we had fucking TikToks when we were fucking twenty years old? Bro, we'd be in prison. <laughs> be in prison, bro. Yeah, I guess criminal. Dude, Crimination, right? How many times? Know. Criminating did you go myself. Out, how many times did you go out mailbox hunting when you were a kid? How dare you! The one mailbox was a keg. <laughs> yeah. So when you hit it, the fucking, it would spark. <laughs> hit it with an aluminum bat. 
Jesus Christ. Dude. River's Edge. Shout out to the River's Edge for the toughest mailbox in the game. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Kidding me? Shout out. That thing's been standing for 200 years of bat wax. Yeah, just dents in it. <laughs> no one's got it yet. Not even Gallagher could fucking stand a chance with that thing. Not a chance. You'd have to blow it off with a tank. Yes, this is what the county kids did back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupid Garden shit Cardinals Wapatui and uh, yeah. mailbox smash. Hose water Wapatui. <laughs> that might be a shirt. Yeah. Been That's drinking the name it. of this podcast. Hose water wop. Hose water wop. Hose water wop. Hose water wop. <laughs> Dude. Oh, geez. We just. We miss Frankie. Frankie's like the glue of this podcast, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> See, Frankie, even like the, the hose water wop was before Frankie, too, though. It was, yeah. So it, He's too young to come around. He's yeah. just a young pup. You know, that's what it is. He never drank the hose water wop. That's why his immune system sucks so bad. He never tasted it. <laughs> that's what it is. I've never been sick after that. No. Oh. <laughs> I think I've had Not the once. Flu. I think I've had the flu twice. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there it is. Good old hose water wop. Hose water wop. Holy shit. I got some kids wine. Got some- I got the Welch's sparkling red grape next to me. Oh shit. We got that for New Year's. That's literally all my daughter wants to drink. She's like, Daddy? She holds up her glass. Can I have some more kids' wine? (laughs) I guess, daughter. So she had some wine while she was coloring in her book. Just like her mother. Yo, your daughter's getting bougie, son. Bro, so bougie. And then she watched these shows and these movies where, like, their kids just run the show, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they're in charge, they're the boss, and it's like, oh, fuck, all right. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, assholes, for throwing this Now she's here. strutting around, singing all the songs about how I don't have to listen to my parents. They're fucking <laughs> stupid. Clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking show are you letting her watch? So that's basically every Disney. Have you ever noticed that when you watch shows on Disney? Like Disney, like all the these uh, iCarly and the parents whatever are all, else. The parents are always fucking idiots. Or non-existent. They have no common sense. The kids tell the parents what's going on. All the parents do is have stupid lines. I mean, if that's what happens in, so, the, yeah. if that's what happens in the suburbs. Yeah, on those gated communities. Yeah, because that shit don't happen out here. No. But it's a, you know, you got to nip it in the butt quick. Well, I got to nip it. I'm well, nip it. And also, if we think about it, most of the kids around here, parents are like, you know, 10 years older than they are. <laughs> yeah. We hey, bro. 36 year old grandparents out there. <laughs> and they're all related. <laughs> Straight line. <laughs> Family tree. Family tree is a stick. No, there's no branches. <laughs> there's no branches. Not a single branch. Just a stick. Oh. oh but I love Twin Lakes. <laughs> love it. Oh. I, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. Too many drinks. Trying to think of what they else. are not enough. That we might have hit the medium. What does that mean? Where you're in that the the tipping point. Yes, I was like up here. Now I'm like coasting. It's ready again. Just give me a minute. 
I'm trying Why don't to we just a... take a take a five minute break? <laughs> take a take a five minute nap here. Listeners, why don't you why don't you pause this? Go ahead. Let me talk to you. Let me soothe you. Yeah. See so here it comes again. The guided meditations of Jeff. Everyone get ready. All right, pause, walk away, come back, five minutes, we'll continue. And hi, we're back. I hope you enjoyed your five-minute rest. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Back for round two, baby. (laughs) So, yeah. Any resolutions this year? No, you I want to uh, on that. That's we can talk about pussy again if you want. <laughs> <Back to it. laughs> Remember when I used to get pussy? Remember that? No, I I did one. Bender over the wop cooler. <laughs> I did one of those stupid uh, crossword things where you know, oh, the first four words you find are gonna be the blah blah blah. You know, your mantra for the year. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool, I'll look at it. So I found uh, Breakthrough, Self-Care, Purpose, and Gratitude. All right. All positive. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's not ones down there to, like, you know, kill yourself. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go that far, but it could be, like, sad, angry, yeah. sleepy, <laughs> nutty. <laughs> Just horny. That's all I found was horny, horny. all the way down. Pussy. Tits. <laughs> Cream pie. I found OnlyFans and bank account and broke. <laughs> oh man! Everyone's fucking. Like, everyone got that that stimulus. They're Woo, gonna be that's all up on that OnlyFans. That six hundred dollars gonna make everybody happy. I can't believe that's all. Oh, that's all they can muster up. How long people have been out of work since March? So yeah, if you think about it, since March, bucks. Since March, everybody's got eighteen hundred bucks, unless you got kids and you got the extra little bonus. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. Six hundred dollars. I don't. I mean, hey, would the two grand have been awesome? Of course it would have. It helped a lot out for the people that are you know still working. Would have helped everybody out. But you got people like Mitch McConnell and Pelosi who have been there for fucking a hundred years and still think, well, that, yeah, their money is still coming in. So yeah, Mitch McConnell's worth like 35 million and Pelosi's worth well more than that. Crazy. It just doesn't seem like enough. I don't, I think they should have maybe just it. I mean, I'm not fucking begging poor here. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, but I understand that there are people out there that are just fucked. Yeah. Restaurant and workers, I can't especially. believe that that's it. Like, even fine if there was a pay grade, like give those people m- monthly money, at least monthly. Yeah. You know, Let's get five hundred a month if you're under a certain tax group. But yeah. no, you get six hundred dollars. And you know, that's the craziest thing about it is you're gonna give them give us six hundred bucks. That's great. You know, everybody's going to spend it on shit they don't need. Like, right. I'm probably going to buy a new TV. I already talked about it. Yeah, see? But then I think so about the it. The like, economy's doing so good. It's like, oh, everything's booming, baby. Well, yeah, because we just gave idiots money. Oh, I'm one of them. Hey. Not going to lie. Yeah. You said right there with you. Happy I got it, but ah, god damn, look fucking long enough. <laughs> well, it's like I said, then everybody that's fucking struggling. I'm just, I'm anxious. Art to goes out to you. I hope you know. I hope everybody oh. is gonna have a better 2021. Cause Jesus Christ. Hope this kind of tails off and we can get back to some sort of normalcy. These these first 
few months are going to be rough still. You're going to have to roll with it. But always, it's always rough in the winter, too. Well, Especially yeah. around here. You, I mean, it snows. It's not like California's winter, Texas's winter. Yeah, no, yeah. we And it's never warm. And everybody's on edge around here because they got to, you know, drive in the snow. Then they got a shovel. Then they're slipping, you know, walking in the grocery store. So nobody's nice. <laughs> no. Being nice is over. Yeah, not until, not until next year. Until the spring. I'm thinking that I want that spring. We'll see what happens in springtime. Yeah, I, dude, I just hope we can get back to normal. Just a little bit of normalcy. I just, I want to, I, I hate, I hate crowds. Always have, but I fucking miss crowds. Yeah. And not a Walmart crowd. No, no, no. Like, I miss concerts <laughs> in fucking, yeah. like, C2E2 trying to walk through the aisles. You got, yeah, anything. Small town, small town, like Corn Fest. Couldn't even have yeah. Corn Fest up in Wisconsin. It was, you know. I'm going to go to every fucking state fair. All of them. County fair. Sorry. County, state. Going. I'm hitting you up. If you're in my radius. Yeah. On our way to see you, Oconomowoc. <laughs> How long does it take, though, for someone to... <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people fighting. I can't wait to get out and see people. Ten minutes in, they're getting drunk and fighting. Yeah, punching each other in the face in the first 30 seconds of going out. Well, once again, not around here because everybody around here is a fucking drunk. It's in the bar. <laughs> they don't give We're in the fuck. bars already, guys. Bars are still wide open up in here. Yeah. Jeff and I, Jeff stays home, I stay home. They, you don't well, even want to I get know. it, though. If I was a young go-hard, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd probably be at the bar, selfishly. Yeah. I'll admit it. I'd be at the bar partying. You don't but, even want to know how much we're charging now to do gigs. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot now. Got that COVID tax. Got that, yeah, exactly. If I got to miss work, you guys are going to pay my salary for that. <laughs> COVID tax, baby. No one, no one, no one wants that. No, I can't wait. My resolution is to get outside more this year. I like being outside. I like doing shit outside, but then, you know, I don't really get to spend too much time outside. Yeah, that's my goal. Whether it's bike riding, hiking, I'm down. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna get outside more. I wanted to do it last year. Taking the kids to the park and beating their ass in basketball. Oh, f- come on now. That's not fair. What do you mean? Them boys ain't we good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, don't Tom Segura yourself. Oh. Thoughts and prayers. I refuse out to, to watch Segura. a video. You, you don't want to watch that video. I'm not going to. I already know. From the thumbnail and saw him laying on the on the basketball court. I knew what the video was going to be. The angle I didn't even hit arm. play. So if you want to, go Google Tom Segura. Basketball falling. injury. Mm. It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> so, so rough. No, I'm trying so to... The fear of getting old as another year passes. You look at that and you're like, he did nothing wrong. He's just old. That could be me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean. That's another reason I didn't watch it. I don't want to accept my own mortality. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I've been stretching a lot more and using that fucking <laughs> massage gun. I was watching, Bella was watching one of her shows or whatever, and they were, you know, doing one of their song dance breakdowns and, like, just watching these kids, like, dance. Like, he was like, they were like, not like crumping or whatever, but they did like a spin and went like right down to their knees oh. and then popped up. And I was like, Oh my God. 
I wish I had. There is no the, way I could do that right now. I wish I had the weird padding in my knee where you could bounce off it and jump back up. When I saw that, that I mean, who knows? They, I, you know, they might have been hooked up to some things that pulled them right up. But when I saw them drop to their knees and bounce right back up, oh. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> Especially the knees. The knees is. It's the first thing to go, man. The knees. The knees. I always thought it'd be the ankles. No, it's the knees. The knees. And your spine starts to compress. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, bro. It's and great. You got back problems, bro. <laughs> it's great. That's why Our, you gotta get on that. Get on that yoga. Been, Is that your? Uh, what's your resolution? Dude, just to be a better person than I was last year. You, you didn't know. even see anybody last year. Exactly. It's got to be better than that. You're real nice. <laughs> no, yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, you could say that every year, you know, just. Uh, you just yeah. always be better than the last. Always can. Try to be. Yeah, you're not, Some, you don't want to have a year where you'd be like, man, I was a real dick that year. I was good all those other years. I just was an remember, asshole. Remember 2015 where you were a real fucking cunt? Just a prick <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> All year, Sean. Just an asshole. Not even one day can I remember you smiled. <laughs> no, like I said, it's just one of those where it's to uh, not flip off the hand, go flying off the handle every time someone does something stupid. Because right now, it, it we're living in idiocracy, basically. Yeah. I never thought that movie would actually be factual. It's crazy how funny and stupid it was. And then you look back and you see the similarities like now you, and you're like, Jesus Christ. You start, you start seeing it coming. I'm just, I'm not looking forward to the future. <laughs> I am and I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about some shit. But I just, you know, you just realize that you're getting a year older. Like, oh, shit, you know. Well, I just watched. You're on PlayStation 5 now, Sean. Jesus Christ. I know. I remember, five. I remember when we thought it was next level because the games were a fucking CD. Fuck yeah. Like Nostalgia. Rem- like, remember the All first you time you. cats appreciate what you got. First time you open a fucking PlayStation, you put that disc in. It's like you'd hear it turn on. That motor was so goddamn loud in that thing. And you oh, just, yeah. It's like a ticking time bomb. You hear <laughs> Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> but you're but like, that's the thing. Like, if, if you know, young kids, I, I didn't think about it at the time either, but when I... It's just nostalgia for that stuff. Even now, talking about the PlayStation, like I get excited because it brings up a memory. Yeah. Like if I was rich, I would go broke not for buying new cool shit. I would buy everything shit. I wanted as a kid, and I didn't get. You know. That's like I I to this like day. Lamborghinis. You know, rich kids buying Lamborghinis. Like I would seriously buy like Ecto One from fucking yeah. Ghostbusters. Or the the last of the interceptors from Mad Max. <laughs> All that get shit. That, I'd have it. Get that concept car from the Wraith. I could get my Teddy Ruxpin. I always oh. wanted. I never got. Okay, only if we put a Slayer tape in it. For sure. <laughs> you have. To. No, yeah. I. You know, there's. You know, I look at the things that I would want. Like, of course, I'd buy a Jordan rookie card. Yeah, I, you know, it's that's one of those ones where it's like I'm buying a mint Jordan rookie card as close as I can get to mint. You know, I would. Uh, the only thing I really want, to be honest, is I want an original arcade cabinet Spy Hunter game. Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter. I don't remember Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter was you were the car. And all it was it was driving, and but just at the red car back and forth. Not a, it's not a red car; it's a silver <laughs> car. 
Is, but, uh, but it had like you'd hit one button and spikes would come out the wheels. You hit the other button and it would drop uh, f- oil on the road behind you, and they'd all the cars yeah. would smash off. And it just played that fucking. That song, the yeah. whole time. So, it's like, dude, I think your dog got excited. He's like, "The hell's that noise?" It's it's that's that's the one, like one must have for me, like in my yeah. arcade at home when I, if I ever hit the lottery to build. Yeah, I would totally just buy stupid shit. I would have an N- Nintendo 64 with Goldeneye. I probably wouldn't even play it, but I'd I'd have it. I'm looking right now at my uh, Sega Genesis cartridges and my Sega Dreamcast and all that other shit I still have. Yeah, you'll but, never play it, but there's no way you're getting rid of it. No, every now and then I, uh, I'll bust out when I... I'll bust out like the uh like Sonic the Hedgehog or something just to play it again. Oh uh, yeah. Like I beat Contra. <laughs> I bought Contra to beat it cuz I knew I could beat it now. But I couldn't when I was a kid. Yeah, he didn't have enough quarters. No, it wasn't even that. It was the <laughs> like the dexterity in my hands from play from being a gamer for so long. I can, Hands are strong now. Plus, th- you've been beaten off for all these years. Oh, yeah, dude. Quick thumbs. <laughs> Quick uh, thumbs. Your wrist strength is just off the charts. Still can't beat you Tyson. You got those weak-ass wrists as a child. I still can't beat Tyson. I've watched every tutorial. I still can't land the fucking plane on Top Gun, so... <laughs> I have landed the plane I've on Top Gun. I've never landed the plane. On the fucking aircraft carrier. Never. I have. We should do a challenge because, well. I got it. Once Frankie's done with the. Oh, you got it too? No. I got the game. Frankie's got it at his house. I'm pretty sure he's got a Nintendo. I have the Nintendo. With that game, Top Gun. And I have Top Gun. Well, what the fuck are we waiting for? We're going to do a. No practicing though, you fucking cheater. (laughs) (laughs) Me and Frankie are going to come over and we're going to. See how many attempts it takes to land on the carrier. Do we'll do a, we'll I'll hook it up so we can do a live stream. Perfect, love it. Then we got to figure out another old school game to try beating, and how many times it would take us to do it. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in for landing that goddamn plane. That would be how to start 2021 off. You know what I'm saying? A I mean, game I can never beat. Just conquer a childhood. I can hook it up to the projector, too. Oh, my God. There you go, buddy. How much longer we got? My dick's getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to also uh, poke through my sweatpants. One of these days. Here's nostalgia. Look at this shirt. You say there. Uh, the old floppy disks. You see Oregon Trail. Never forget. Never forget. No. The Never forget where you came from, kids. Be a ri- nice person this year and get the fuck outside. How about that? Yeah. Turn your phone off. Play with your kids. Yeah, get one of those uh, spike ball setups. Those things are fun. A spike ball? You haven't seen that one yet? Mm-mm. It's like a trampoline. And you, it's teams of two, and you spike the ball off it like volleyball. Oh yeah, I seen him playing it on the the beach. Yeah, everything happens on a beach, right? Everything, of course. But yeah, they had a fire going in and everything. Yeah, <laughs> Maynard Maynard brought one up last time he was here, and it was fun. Like you you move, but there's not a ton of moving. You know what I mean? Just enough. Like when we play Can Jam where you got to talk. Yeah. I mean, once in a while you got to go pick up the fucking Frisbee. Another great game for old guys. <laughs> great game. I was thinking about that the other day. Just just golf and bowling. Like so many people do it. And 
and they're all you don't have to be in shape it is the best old man sports yeah for sure i mean i would love to go play basketball right now but i'm sure it's like hey would you rather play do golf all day or play basketball all day my body is like motherfucker you better answer this right (laughs) yeah you better say golf you better go with that golf you want to be in a basketball league or do you want to be on a bowling team thinking bowling team yeah you notice both of these things are centered around drinking too right Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yeah, golf and bowling. And a drinking team with a bowling problem. <laughs> That's how it goes. I just don't understand how bowling is not the state sport of Wisconsin. What is? We'll have to have that. That'll be a brain buster for everyone next time. Yeah. We'll answer that question next time. What was it? What's <laughs> the Wisconsin state sport? Sport. They have state sports, huh? Well, yeah, I think there's a state bird, there's a state flower, there's, you know, there's all that shit. They got to have a state sport. What do you think our state sport is? Yeah, I'm going to ask Siri right now. Ask her. Hey, Siri. What's Wisconsin's state sport? Suspenseful. Get the music going. Did it, did it, did it. She didn't did it, tell did me, did it. fucking bitch. She ain't telling you? There's the one. She doesn't want you to know their dark secrets. You don't want to know what they do up north, bro. <laughs> Football team's called the Packers. It's true, <laughs> and it is a holiday <laughs> in my house. Bears, Packers, Sunday. Ooh, I'm ready. Woo. If the Bears win, they're in the playoffs. Somehow. This some way. This is our fucking Super Bowl right now. Yeah, but we'd never beat the Packers. Dude, well, the Bears don't. Can't Bakhtiari say, don't is not out. on the team. <laughs> David Bakhtiari is out. So you got their backup coming in against Khalil Mack. All day. I like those odds, baby. I like those odds. I like Roquan Smith lining up right over his shoulder. <laughs> what's fucking, what's the state sport, bro? Don't leave me in suspense. I'm looking. What do you think it is? We I, guess? I think, we guess? It, I think it's curling. I was going to say that. Uh, I'll pick something else. Bad Long man. distance ski shooting. The fucking skis and the poles and the rifle. Hunting. It's going to be hunting. It might be hunting. Might be hunting. Is that a sport? Yeah, kind of. Is hunting a sport? I guess, because there's sport hunting. (laughs) That's like lions and shit. Yeah, that is lions and shit and elephants and that's fucking sport hunting. Fuck those people. Yeah. I say that from the bottom that's of my. It's a touchy f- subject, though, Sean. Yeah, if you're, if you're sport- people who live there want those fucks gone. If you're sport, uh, if you're sport hunting, like on a reserve, it's, just- it's like, if it's like they're caged in. Then, yeah, but if it's out in the wild, if some village is like, these fucking lions are snatching our kids and our shit. There is no state sport It's got to be like that movie, The Ghost in the Darkness. No state sport in Wisconsin. What? Wyoming state sport? Yeah. Rodeo. Rodeo? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's on their license plate, right? Yeah. The Buck and Bronco? Yes, sir. Or the Bull? I don't know. It's the horse. It visually, it came to me. It's the cowboy on the horse. Maybe in a dream and another life. <laughs> and another time. Let's float through the cosmos. All right, we're like at an hour 14. Should we wrap this bitch up? What? Let's put a nice, let's put a nice fucking bow on 2020 and throw it away. 
and, and let's and try and be positive and, and go chain outside it down more in 2021. And, tra- and chain it down and dump it in the bottom of the river and make sure it never comes back. Never. Uh, uh, sit tight, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride at the beginning of this year, but it's only going to get better. Can't get much fucking worse, man. It no, really no. can't. And so hopefully get your resolutions in order. Start acting on it. Just get it done. Get it fucking done. That's it. I'm going to try and do it myself. My resolutions to go outside more and lose some goddamn weight. I fucking feel you on that one. Let's do it. So, from two fat guys, <laughs> from Jeff, <laughs> for myself. Love you all. Thank you for For Frankie, listening. who's not here. Thanks for coming in and listening. Want to touch it? <laughs> we'll see you uh, again next week. Another fun-filled edition of The Gentleman's Den. And don't forget to go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your gentleman's den merch needs. And you got until uh, Monday to get that 21% off. January 21%. 21%. Frankie actually made his shirt. Wanna touch it. The Wanna touch shirt is finally up there. That is www.shop.spreadshirt.com dot com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den or dash or dash <laughs> or dash. I go with the dash not an underscore it's a hyphen or a dash or a minus sign if you will <laughs> go on there touch it make Frankie happy buy a want to touch a shirt send us a, a a picture on our Facebook or our Instagram that you got it. And well, that you're touching it. And who knows? Maybe someone will want to touch it. Maybe. All right. See you next week, folks. Peace.